children. I think we should sleep now. Uncle, yes. Please tell us just one more parable before we go to sleep. Esther, are you interested in a parable too? Sorry, Uncle. What did you say? The boys want me to tell them another parable. Are you interested too? Of course, Uncle, yes. Sorry, I was wondering what would have happened if God had kept the moon and stars under the dark clouds forever. Aha! Uh -huh. Thanks, Esther. Now I know which parable to tell you. Before that, I want you all to watch the moon. Look, those dark clouds are covering the moon and the stars. And it's getting dark all around. There's your answer, Esther. We would have had darkness if the moon was covered by dark clouds. In the same way, that is what happens when we allow the light of God within us to be overshadowed by our problems. Huh? This was what Jesus was trying to tell his disciples on a mountain. One late evening like this. And Jesus said to them, You are the light of the world. No one after lighting a lamp keeps it under a basket or under the bed as it will go off. But when you light a lamp and place it on the lampstand, it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. On another occasion, Jesus repeated the same parable but gave them a different message. Your eye is the lamp of your body. If your eye is healthy, your whole body is full of light. But if it is not healthy, your body is full of darkness. Children, today Jesus is saying to you, You are my light in this world. Beautiful. That's truly beautiful. Yes, uncle. I'm feeling a burning sensation in my heart. Me too. Look at the moon, children. Do you know that the light that the moon gives us does not belong to it? Yes, it belongs to the sun. Yes, the moon is just reflecting the light of the sun. In the same way, the light that God has meant us to be is His. When we keep ourselves pure and are willing to reflect His light like the moon, we become His light to people in darkness. Wow! Yes, when we are sorrowful, we want the whole world to know. When we are happy, we sometimes keep it to ourselves. So true, Joshua. Uncle, I have a doubt. What does it mean by the eye and the body being full of darkness? Hmm. I will explain that. Now please cover your eyes for a minute. Now tell me, what do you see? Only, Only darkness. darkness. Now open them. What do you see now? The light of the moon and the fire. Right. So you see, the choice to see the light or the darkness is in our hands. If we shut our eyes to the goodness of people and only look for the bad in them, then our world will seem gloomy. You have indeed opened our eyes to the light. Thank you, Uncle Yesh. Come, let us thank God for making us children of light. Promise Him that you will become His lambs.